It was always dark in the shadowland of the eternal moon. You see, the moon is not a source of light. It was made to reflect the light. Reflect the light. Все во тьме, вечный мрак, линии тени. Sometimes the people living in this shadow land went to the land of eternal sun, and they brought back rays of light. They brought it into their homes, and for a short while they lived in the light. But all too soon, the light went out. One little boy said, When I grow up, I'm going to bring the sun to this shadow land. Grown-ups and children alike laughed at him. The grown-up said, Oh my, do you hear that? What a superman who thinks he can do what none of us could do. The other children envied him because not one of them came up with such a wonderful idea. All agreed that he would never succeed. Some of them were laughing at him. Where is the sun? When are you bringing the sun? Some of them were chuckling. You fool! Bring! Bring! 
and we're going to we're use going it. To use it. Many thought he was obliged to bring it to them. There were those who were thankful, and this gave him strength to carry on. Very often he went out to meet the sun, and the sun remembered him. The sun was overjoyed every time he came, and freely gave its light. The man's face was filled with joy, shining like pure crystal, with beautiful rays of light. And then happened what was meant to happen. He met a beautiful young girl. Her beauty was hidden in the darkness of the shadow land. But she was shining brightly in the light with a beauty that had never been seen here before. They deeply loved one another. This love and joy were overflowing and touched the lives of others around them. People became warmer, a little closer to the light. And many of them experienced this joy. Evil men with envy in their hearts attacked, attacked the, man the man who brought the rays of sun and tried to take it away from him. The light was blinding and suddenly these evil men saw one another in the light. They recognized their evil, greed, envy. They saw each other as they really were sinful and wicked. They didn't need the light that was penetrating their very heart and discerning truth from light. light. The light exposed and convicted them. The light was hindering them. Even though they changed their names, people still saw them as they really were. These evil men began to fear that in which they had never believed before, that this man would bring the sun to the land of shadows. And then people would recognize that it is possible to live without lies and wickedness and that this is the better life. Then evil men won't be able to justify, to justify themselves. themselves. It was impossible to openly kill him. Everybody noticed him and he was walking in the light. The evil men were afraid of him. And then the wicked thought up and the evil plan. They developed artificial beneficiaries and they started selling There was no need to go anywhere, take any risk. And many didn't even some recognize effort. the difference between the artificial and the real life. In artificial life you could only superficially see people, but not their inner motives. This way wicked and evil men, thieves of all ranks, look to respectable and even like religious men. They started spreading vicious rumors about him. They reviled him. And many believed him because they closed their eyes to the truth and they continued to live in darkness. It was easier to live this way. The criminals took opportunity of this moment. They killed him. Through time, people forgot the man who brought light to their land. But the sun did not forget. The sun followed his footsteps and came to the land where he lived before. The sun started to come every day. Until this very day, the battle continues between light, light, light and, dark, and, dark. and dark. Everyone has the choice. choice, choice, choice. Will you run to the light, or will you hide in darkness?
Бог есть свет, и в нем нет тьмы. Иисус пришел и осветил мне путь. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light.